Have you ever headed to your local bluegrass jam only to be greeted by this sign? Well, you need to join these folks that are having a much better time. And just think of how much of this you'll find in your tip jar once you learn Wagon Wheel. Let's go over that again. Before you know Wagon Wheel, after you learn Wagon Wheel. Before, after. Here are the chords to the song that are played over and over. All of the chords are positioned with the first finger at the 4th fret and use only strings 4, 3, and 2. Use fingers 1, 3, and 4 for the E. We leave out the 3rd on the F sharp minor chord, creating a modal chord. Use the common 3 finger shape for the D chord. While the rhythm isn't a typical chop rhythm, it still has accents on beats 2 and 4. I'll first play a light, fourth string note, one, two, three, and four, and. And the and uh, after beat four, a lot of times will just be switching to the next chord. So you may either get dead strings or even a, a little bit of an open ring there. And a little bit faster. Here now is a rhythm track to practice with. Let's now take a look at a nice solo. This solo tracks what the singer sings during the chorus of the song. It begins with a slide, second finger picked up the fifth fret note, hold on to frets four and seven as you begin the E phrase, big stretch double stop two and six. A double slide from two to six up to four and seven. D double stop, F sharp and A. Begin with fingers one and two down, hammer your third. If you can't get the hammer on, just begin with the double stop. For the E chord, you begin with fingers 1 and 2 on frets 2 and 4. Hold those two notes into the D measure. Now you play a scale. Go back to the beginning, play all the measures again. The second time the scale will have an additional note. finish things up. We'll now put the whole solo together up to speed at 140 on the metronome. 